every day, brings along with it, new challenges, and unexpected issues. But when we commit our every day to God, He will take care of us. Do not start your day without the worker's prayer. Arise and shine, be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. One more worker's prayer. We are together here early in the morning. As the sun is rising, because your finances must also rise. You must be at the top of your game. You have to be successful in everything that you do. Everywhere you go, every place you touch, success must be the ultimate result. Because prosperity is what God has in store for those who trust Him. And this is what we have been experiencing the strong nation every Monday in our national headquarters. And you also who are struggling, facing challenges, going through hardships in your financial life. You who have lost your job. You who are pursuing a career but you are not having any success. You who are about to start a business but you are struggling or your business is not doing well at all. You were successful once but you have lost it all. Your life is is kind of bound, tied up right now. But there is a way out. There is a solution for you. And I want to give you proof that your financial life can change because God is working great wonders in the life of those who are looking for help based upon his word. Because when you enter into a pact with God, Everything changes in your life. Let us see what has been happening in the life of those who are joining us in the strong nation every Monday in our national headquarters. And they are entering into a pact with God. Because that is the key for a total transformation in your finances. Let us watch. There are people here now who are crying. Who are humiliated whose life is like hell. It's painful. It hurts. They're crying out loud for help, for justice. But listen, God heard you and He invites you into a pact, into a covenant to change your life. If you decide today to hold on to his hands. He'll lift you. He'll care for you. He will change your life. He will transform your situation. My name is Robert. I'm three weeks ago in a strong nation. I was told to use my feet and place the biggest bill upon the altar. I had $40 at the time, two $20 bill. And I gave my all. I wasn't expecting anything, but there was some money that the government was owing me for quite a long while, maybe about 14, 15 years. And after placing my all at the altar and believing in God and using my faith, I received a phone call around 15 minutes after 10 to come into the ministry that the money that they are owing me, they have a check waiting for me. And that's only part of it. That's only part of it. The money that I received, I was trusting God and believing and prophesying that one day I'm going to have my own vehicle. So I received my money. First thing I do, I remember God and I placed my first 10% of the amount in an envelope because I must be faithful to God at all times in order for Him to bless my life. And because of this blessing, I receive. This is the result of my blessing. Today I am in, in possession of my own vehicle. So I'm saying to you people out there, come to the Universal Church, use your faith. Don't give up. Do a chain of prayer. Come on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Mondays for your financial life. Wednesdays for you to receive the Holy Spirit. Fridays for deliverance. And Sundays for your family. 
but most of all, if you are going through financial difficulties due to this pandemic, I urge you come to the Universal Church. Any one of the services on Monday, 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 midday, 3 p.m. We have the main service at 5 p.m. in the afternoon and at 6 30. Come and use your feet and you will see great doors open for you. It does not depend on God. Yes, you heard it right. It does not depend on God. There are people who like to say, my life is in God's hands. I am sorry, but your life is in your hands. Why, pastor, my life is in my hands, you may say? Because God depends on my choices, my actions, my decisions in order to work in my life. God does not work alone. God works in partnership with us, with those who have a pact with him. This is what God has been doing in the life of those who have been engaging into this powerful gathering of faith of the strong national and national headquarters. And they are entering into a pact with God because God is able. No matter the losses you might have had, the bad experiences that you might have come across in life, the setbacks that you might have been exposed to, and every form of loss that has been accumulating in your life thus far. God is able to take you out of this critical situation you're in and bring about a total transformation to your finances. This Monday, we are going to be together for the gathering of the strong nation of the year 2021. And you are going to be receiving the Holy Bible of the pact with God. God. Yes, the Holy Bible of the pact with God. Because once you enter into a pact with God, the word of God will come to pass in your life. When we come back, it will be our moment of prayer. The worker's prayer. This is our moment of prayer. My God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I call upon your name and I ask you to move your hands towards the life of all those who have been failing financially. Those who are struggling to make ends meet. Those of Father who are right now unemployed in pursuit of an opportunity. Those whose businesses are not doing well. Those who are about to leave their house in order to go job hunting. And yet those of God who are going to go to interviews those my father who are right now preparing themselves in order to apply for investment those of God who are about to meet their suppliers to renegotiate their debts my God, those who are about to meet their creditors, I call on you right now and I ask you, move your hands towards each one of them. Manifest your power in such a way that you take them out of this critical situation they are in. Bless the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. Bless, oh God, the private and the public sector. Bless all the hardworking people of this nation with prosperity, with success. I also pray, my God, that you bless every Bible of the pact with God. This Bible, my God, that is now on display in this moment of prayer. I ask you that you consecrate it. Because everyone who will be joining us this coming Monday will be collecting one of these Bibles. And when they collect it, they are going to receive their blessing. When they collect it, they are going to receive their victory. When they collect it, they are going to receive their answer. When they collect it, they are going to receive the transformation. My God, it has to happen that all that they desire must come to pass. It has to happen that all they aim to achieve, oh God, must become reality in their lives. Because your people can lose no more. Your people can fail no more. Your people can be disappointed no more. Your word must come to pass in the life of those who believe and those who be joining the strong nation this Monday my God from all around Trinidad and Tobago they are going to head my father to the national headquarters here in Port of Spain and we are going to be together 6 a.m 10 a.m and 5 p.m to determine that their finances will no longer be the same prepare us for the fourth 
gathering of the strong age of the year 2021. The last gathering in this month of January. And we saw my father determined that great miracles will happen upon the finances of those who believe. And if you believe, receive it now. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those who agree say, Amen. My dear friend, these blessings upon you. You whose business is not doing well, you whose finances is not well, you who are struggling to make ends meet, you who are right now unemployed, you who are in pursuit of an opportunity, you who have so many debts, you who have so many bills to pay, commitments that you cannot afford, I would like to invite you to write it down. I would like to invite you to put it on paper. Make photocopies of every debt, every bill you have to pay. Make photocopies of everything, every document document that is kind of tied up, answers you need but you have not yet been able to achieve. And you are going to bring it all this Monday, either 6 in the morning or 10 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You are going to meet me in person and I'm going to determine the end of it because once you have a pact with God, everything changes. See you this Monday in the strong nation, in our national headquarters. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong.